We are Team Anvesh from IIT Madras, a team of brilliant minds committed to pushing the limits of innovation and exploration. Our passion for technology and quest for discovery drives us to design cutting-edge rovers and tackle the toughest challenges in the field of robotics. Get ready to witness the future of space exploration with Team Anvesh's US rover Galileo. Coming to traversal, we are going with a more robust rocker bogey mechanism than our previous. We have further optimized our rover's traversing capabilities by including more obstacle parameters in simulations. A major problem we had was that of camber, which we have observed, tested and now corrected. The chassis has been stiffened to reduce the flexure, the rocker bogey components have been reinforced and also the differential mounts have been redesigned for better load transmission and to lower the associated play while traversing. Also, we decided to lower the bending moment by reducing the length of what was effectively a cantilever. We solved for the inverse kinematics in real time using our custom IK package that outputs required joint angles for the three joints of our manipulator. These output joint angles are realized using PID controllers with the help of feedback from encoders which are inbuilt in our motors. The manipulator is a 5 degree of freedom articulated arm with a versatile gripper. The entire arm has been revamped considering the shortcomings and advantages of the previous designs. Worm gears are being used at the shoulder and elbow joints owing to their non back drivability and the much larger range of motion that they provide compared to the previously used linear actuators. Also, to reduce the time required to assemble the rover, the arm is made to be modular and can easily be mounted or detached. Base rotation of the arm consists of a series of spur gears chosen to ensure an optimal torque and RPM balance. Aluminum links have been used and by laser cutting, weight has been drastically reduced. Extensive stress analysis has been done to maximize strength and stiffness of the links. The 3 degree freedom end effector is capable of performing parallel grip, pitch and roll motion. The gripping mechanism consists of two parallel four bar systems which are actuated using a worm gear system in turn consists of two worm wheels and one worm. This prevents the back drivability of the gripper fingers and ensures that the gripper can grip masses up to 6 kgs. The roll motion is achieved by meshed spur gears. A central electronic box has been designed with custom-made PCBs for drive arm and science modules. NVIDIA Jetson Xavier acts as the CPU. Rover's motor drivers are managed by STM32 Blueprint and Raspberry Pi Pico microcontrollers. Cross-serial I2C and CAN techniques have been used. 2.4 GHz frequency communication is done using Ubiquiti rocket and two routers, with 15 dBi sector antenna on the base station and 13 dBi omnidirectional antenna on the rover linked to the Jetson via SSH. Power Module Two 24 volt depot batteries, relay based power distribution board with buck converters, reverse voltage protection due to back EMF, opto couplers, under voltage protection, and fill switch mechanism to power up active components in an emergency has been employed. Special PCB with voltage, current, and temperature sensors, publishing data from Jetson to custom made GUI is designed. The science setup consists of the soil collection mechanism and an onboard laboratory. To collect soil samples, a scoop attached to the end of a robotic arm drops them into a collector box with two compartments one of which creates a solution for testing, while the other preserves the original soil. Submersible water pumps and pneumatic pipes control the flow of the solution from the collector box to the test tubes in the onboard science lab and cuvettes in the spectrometer setup. Our live detection strategy involves testing for reducing sugars, lipids, ammonia, and calcium carbonate. Changes in the test tubes are observed using three analog cameras. Our UV-Vis spectrometer setup uses a rotating mechanism for the cuvettes to test samples from multiple sites for proteins and carotenoids. The onboard sensors measure various environmental and subsurface factors. We use a microscope with an adjustable focus to examine the physical attributes of soil, rocks and possible fossils. We can predict the conditions that led to their formation using our database. We have built a custom GUI which eliminates the requirement for manually entering commands through the terminal. It uses Arvis to visualize the manipulator status, provides camera feed from the cameras on the rover, ensuring that the operator is completely aware of the environment around the rover throughout the missions. We are using an Intel RealSense D415 stereo camera for obtaining visual odometry, point cloud data and for Aruco marker detection. Adapt to Monte Carlo localization is used with LiDAR to get a post estimate of our rover. All our odometry data is used using an extended Kalman filter for more effective localization. Our drone was built using the F450 quadcopter frame as a base, Raspberry Pi Model 4B and Pixar 2.4.8 on the fly computer and controller of the system respectively. For software, we are using DroneKit Python library to achieve autonomous flight. 